today we're going to be making some Christmas cookies. Although these aren't a classic favorite Christmas cookie, they sure are very tasty. These are buttery apricot cookies. Don't let their small size kid you. They are a mouthful of flavor. Well, welcome back to the Cozy Cottage Homestead. Today we're going to work on some Christmas cookies. This is a very different kind of recipe um, just because of the ingredients. But we're going to be using a few recipes from my cookbook called the Ultimate Cookie Book. Over 175 mouth-watering recipes. So this one is called Buttery Apricot Cookies. Very simple, easy to make, very minimum ingredients. Says it makes about three dozen cookies, but um, we'll have to see about that. I'm not sure if I can make three dozen out of it, but we're going to try. So this is the ingredients that you're going to need. Um, one half stick of butter, uh, well one stick of butter, which is a half a cup of butter, sorry, didn't mean to confuse y'all. Um, a half a cup of confectioner sugar. And we're going to have to sift it, our flour and our sugar, on the cookie recipes. You need to sift it, even though our packages say most of our ingredients are pre-sifted. So we're going to go ahead and try to stick to what the recipe tells us. A half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one egg beaten, one and one-fourth cup of all-purpose flour, and one-fourth of a cup of dried chopped apricots. And if you use unsalted butter, you'll have to use a pinch of salt, but I'm using salted butter, so we won't have to use the salt. Frugal tip there. So if you don't have unsalted um, butter, don't worry about it. Just omit the salt that it calls for in the recipe, and your cookies will still turn out great. So the first thing you do is put the butter and the confectioner sugar and the vanilla in your bowl. And we're going to mix that up with the mixer. And I'm going to just get it started and then I'm going to bring y'all in a little closer. And these are great cookies to make ahead of time. Um, these are considered refrigerator cookies. So you make the dough. And we'll get to that point here in a minute. Um, jump in the gun. But they're good to make ahead of time so that you have them on hand. And then you can pull out your cookie dough and make fresh cookies whenever you want to make fresh co cookies. Especially during the holidays and it also freezes well. So you can make up a bunch of cookie dough and put it in the freezer and pull it out the night before and make some homemade cookies. So let's see what we're doing here. we got the butter, confectioner sugar, and the vanilla. That was a half a cup of confectioner sugar. And I said it right, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I get so tongue-tied, y'all. I'm sorry. I think I said it right, though. So, we're going to blend this together. I'm going to leave y'all over there for this part. It's going to be noisy. Then I'll bring y'all in closer in a minute. All right, so that was our butter at room temperature, our half a cup of the sifted confectioner sugar, and our half a teaspoon of vanilla. Now it says to add one egg well beaten. This is a duck egg. Surprisingly, my ducks actually were laying eggs yesterday. I'm just so surprised. It's been cold, but I go out there to the to the goat barn, and there's three beautiful duck eggs out there. So I don't know. I will, I put up a bunch of eggs for the winter, but I may not need them. So that's a blessing. So we're gonna beat this one egg up really good. I just put it in a small cup and beat it with a fork. All right, we're going to just add that right in there. Very rich. And I'm going to set this in the sink just because it's eggy. Alright, and we're going to mix that in 
and then we'll move on to the next step. Right. let me adjust the camera and I'm going to bring y'all in a little bit closer. You're going to be doing it by hand as per how the recipe tells us to do it. Go ahead and make sure we get all that off of there. So the next part is sifting the flour in over our moisture the, the wet mixed here, moisture, the wet blend. So we got our sifter and we're going to do one and a fourth of a cup of flour. I'm just using all purpose flour. You're, you can use whatever kind of flour you want. And we're just going to sift it right over the top. one and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. Now all we're going to do is mix it up really good. I'm going to start off with my little spoon here so I can scrape down my sides as I go. And eventually we're going to have to get in here with our hands. Alright, let's get in here now and put in our last ingredient which is the star of the show, our dried apricots. You don't want to miss nothing. Okay. Well, let's get our one-fourth of a cup of dried apricots. They look a little dark because they were getting a little on the older side, but they are still good. And now we're just going to get in there with our hand. We're just going to mix it in there. And get in there with our hands and mix it up really well. And then we're going to make this into a, a log. And we're going to put it in wax paper and refrigerate it. So this is a little sticky, this part. So let me wash my hands and I'll bring you up. All right, so you're going to need some wax paper. A pretty good long sheet. Because our goal is to try to make this log into about an inch and a half in diameter. Just a little bit of flour so that you can put it on top of your wax paper. It's just a little, you don't need a lot, just a little bit. Kind of spread it around a little bit because your all your goal is to get this cookie dough out and it's soft because it's been sifted just get it all in one little spot try to get it all in one little area and then we're going to work it into a log and it is messy so this is going to have a few interruptions in this video because i'm going to have to keep trying to clean my hands off a little bit so it's just not a total miss. But isn't that the fun of making Christmas cookies? Getting the kiddos in there and making some cookies. Of course, some kids might not like apricots, but you'd be surprised. They might actually love it. And we have a little bit of flour on here. So all I'm going to try to do is make it into a log and then keep trying to stretch it. And the idea is to get it about an inch and a half in diameter. So I guess being a cook, you have to do a little bit of math too. That part's always kind of tricky. But I just kind of make sure it's all densed and squeeze it into a log. Hope y'all can see this. Yeah. I just make it into a log. And see, that's why I was doubting that this would make three dozen cookies. But hey, it might. 
and I guess they're gonna I don't think these are gonna be the kind of cookies that like really expand a whole lot and I'm not sure if they might so all we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to roll it towards me just a little bit so I can tuck and roll this wax paper so we can make this into a log if you make it too long and you don't have a wide enough refrigerator you might have a little bit of problem with it being this long but you might can find a way to stick it on the edge and we're just simply going to try to roll it up and as we roll it I'm kind of smoothing it which is making it a little bit more hopefully round and now we have some buttery apricot cookie dough this has to be refrigerated for about keep it refrigerated overnight and then that way the next day you can pull it out and bake it and we're going to show you that next step in just a second because I already have one of these made in the refrigerator looks like it's been refrigerating overnight and I have my husband here to help me we're gonna try to cut it with dental floss like you would do like cinnamon rolls we're just going to stick a little bit and I'm going to leave it on top of this paper just so it doesn't stick to the countertop and see if we can do it maybe start this in it may give us a little bit of trouble since it has the apricots in it but um, we're going to try it and see how it goes if not we'll have to get out a sharp knife First couple of ones will probably be a little off on the edge, you know. And my log right here may not even be quite the inch and a half round. I think it's a little bit smaller. But, you know, just play around with it. You'll still have some tasty cookies. And plus, if you're making it for like a Christmas party or a family get-together, make them a little smaller you'll get a few more cookies out of it I think it's working good my logs just a little bit small This one doesn't really tell me like how far to space them out on the cookie sheet. So I'm going to give them a little bit of space. But I'm really not thinking they're going to expand a whole lot. They may. So we're going to space them out just to be sure. Just in case. See, my husband's going to do much better with cutting them the right thickness. I struggle with that. So in, in this case, they probably will make at least three dozen cookies. So it seems to be working quite well. So frugal tip, if you don't have an extra sharp knife, use some dental floss. Seems to be working really good. Alright, and I'll bring y'all right back once we get them all finished cut. 
All right, so we have them all on our cookie pans. And also you can use a pizza pan instead of a cookie sheet if you don't have those. It did end up making more than three dozen. But I think I didn't make my log quite thick enough. It should have been a little uh, thicker, closer to the inch and a half round in diameter. But either way, it still works great. These are going to go, these are on a lightly greased cookie sheet. They're going to go in the oven at 400 degrees for about says seven to eight minutes so my oven is already to temperature so once they get just a little bit brown around the edges you want to go ahead and pull them out all right so we got the apricot cookies out of the oven like I said they did not get bigger they stayed small um, so when I make the next batch I'll make my log a little bit thicker but they are excellent they taste wonderful um, if you want to try something different, they're not extremely sweet, but they're like just sweet enough. Great for any of your Christmas get-togethers. And if you make the dough ahead of time, refrigerate it overnight. The dough will be stiffer and it'll make it easier to cut. And also, um, instead of using a knife, use the dental floss it worked excellent even with the dried apricots in there so i'm going to probably do one more christmas cookie um, recipe it's going to probably be one of my husband's favorites so it was probably many of y'all's favorites but um we kind of like to keep some of the traditional stuff alive too but we also like to try some new stuff sometimes. Um, and with this recipe, the it's actually called buttery apricot cookies. You can also substitute any type of dehydrated fruit. So it's a very good one to change up. And remember, the larger you make your log, the larger your cookies will be. But I'm thinking this is going to be perfect because... When you go to your Christmas gift together, everyone just kind of wants to get a taste of everything. And then that would let you just get a bite of this and a bite of that. So it actually worked out pretty good that they were kind of small. Um, I'll bring y'all closer and show you what they look like on the platter. I'm not the best at this part. Uh, they might just fall straight out. <laughs> but anyway, I'll zoom in on it a little bit. On my intro so y'all can see what they look like so that's all we're gonna do for today I'm gonna come back on here and do another cookie recipe it'll probably be a more traditional cookie recipe so thanks for subscribing to my channel liking sharing and leaving friendly comments and we'll see you on the next video and we're gonna make another Christmas cookie favorite so farewell homestead family friends and neighbors from the Cozy Cottage Homestead.